Buenos dias, it's Tuesday morning, boxing day. And uh, on Tuesdays, I do my back and biceps. And uh, I just wanna remind everyone that I'm doing the challenge uh, to see how long it'll take me to hit uh, 315 on the deadlift, 230 or 225 on the bench, uh, 315 on the squat, 135 on the shoulder press, uh, all for eight reps and uh, how heavy I'm going to be when I hit the last lift and uh, all I need you to do is like and subscribe to any of my videos and comment on which days I'm going to hit those lifts they all can be different days and uh, whoever's closest when I hit hit the the goal it's going to get a hundred dollars I'll send it to your PayPal or your bank depending on where you live so submit your estimates. Uh, right now, there's only one guy that's submitted. So if I hit, if I hit uh, something uh, early in the year, he's gonna get get the money. Easy money for him. And uh, right now, I weigh 215. I had a lot of food for Christmas, and I'm gonna go to the first exercise. I'm back with the first workout. Is the false grip pull-ups. I used to do three reps or three sets with the false grip pull-ups just to just to build up the the calluses on my wrist before I would bleed and my skin would come off. But now that my now that my skin is used to it and it's calloused, I'm gonna start just doing uh, one set just to follow my protocol of one set to failure. That's all you really need. Unless you're training a skill like I do on on uh, Saturdays when I train the transition in the muscle up, I'll do a couple extra sets. But that's not the gain strength. I gain the strength in the, for the muscle up by doing dips and doing pull ups. And there's the one and only set. It's hard to do because I weigh 215 today, but I got five, which is what I did last week. And I always try to hold that last rep for around five seconds or 10 seconds. And I'm gonna be on the roof with my next workouts. I'm back with the deadlift. And uh, just another reminder to put in your guess for the challenge on the deadlift. I think I'm gonna hit the deadlift first. So that's probably the one that's gonna pay out the fastest. And uh, last week I did 285 eight times. And uh, this week I think I'm gonna do 285 again. And uh, I'll probably hit it for nine or 10 because uh, usually I go up by one rep. And uh, especially uh, today I ate, ate a lot of food yesterday. And uh, I weighed 111 on Friday or Saturday and now I weigh 215. So I shoved the power. I shove the power to uh, to do it for uh, nine or ten, and then that next week I'm gonna go up to two ninety.
at nine. I'll drop ten on each side and do it again. One's all I can get. And look, just one set to failure once a week and strength goes up every week. If it's not going up while you're balking, you're doing something wrong. Not eating enough or not resting enough. And it's as easy as that, quick workout. One set on each workout and I'll be back with the next one. Back with the next workout, the bent over rows. Uh, last week I did 185 nine times. Uh, I would usually increase it to 190, but uh, on this workout, well, I go to failure and the last couple reps are not full reps. So I can serve failure when I can't bend my elbows anymore. So I'm gonna leave it at 185 and try to focus on getting uh, more full, full range, in, full range, in, full range motion on the on the bent over row. So I'm gonna leave that this weight and I should be able to do nine or 10 with better technique. And I always use an underhand grip to work the biceps a little bit more. We got nine there. And if you look back to last week, the week before that, I believe I got more, more range of motion on those ones. Even though I got nine again. I'll drop about 10 on each side. And do my drop set. The failure. And move on to the next one. Easy and fast. Easy, fast, and the best results I've ever gotten. Like always, hold that last rep for at least, for try for 10. And that's because it's the most important rep is the last one. That's when you're recruiting all the fast twitch muscles, which have the most muscle fibers and will make you stronger and bigger when they recover. And then on to the next one. I'm back with the next workout and that is the the cable rows with the v-grip bar and last week I did last week I did uh, 185 eight times so I'm gonna do 185 again and I should be able to do it nine times always wants it to failure it's all you need 
I'm gonna keep repeating it until you fucking listen. Maybe I should fix my camera a bit. Is that better? Maybe over here. How's that look? That looks fucking pretty good. Yeah, that's the angle. Tell me if that's the best angle I've done this exercise on, or if there's another angle I should do. I think this but a little bit higher, but I need to buy um, a tripod and I told myself I'm not going to buy anything extra until I start making some money on this channel. So I make some money, I'll, I'll get a better phone to record this on and uh, a tripod and other things to make better content. But here we go. I got nine. You can see nice and slow and controlled. There should be no momentum in your lift. So I'll drop 10 on each side, 20. You want to keep your muscle under tension. Last rep is fucking killer. Always try and do that. But I got nine, so I increased from last week. And like I said, if you're not increasing your your reps or your weight week to week, you're doing something wrong. So take a look at that. And I'll be back with the next one. I'm back to the next workout, and it's the chin-ups. So chin-ups are like pull-ups, but your palms are facing towards you instead of away. And there's more of a focus on the biceps. And also, uh, Mike Manster says that the, the chin-up is the best back and bicep workout because you're working on the bicep on the two joints, on the elbow joint and on the shoulder joint. So it's the best bicep workout that you can do, beats everything else. And so that's the only bicep focused workout that I do. And uh, last week I did six reps. This week I'm gonna go for seven. Nice and slow and, nice and, slow up and down. If I did them fast, I'd probably be able to get a lot more, maybe 8 to 10. And I'm focusing on keeping the muscle under tension as long as possible. And I will show you. And then once I once I max, once I fail on the chin-ups, I'm going to use the resistance band. This one I call the 35. It's not that, it's like the third thinnest one I have. And uh, I'll show you how I put that on there to help me do the, the drop set. So I always use chalk, the chalk in my hand, because I'm, uh, I'm doing a pull up or a chin up. I need a chin up on the two inch bar. This is a two inch bar. So it actually also helps with the grip training. It's easier to hold a one inch bar over a two inch bar. So I use chalk. So I use chalk to uh, help my grip. And I put the, the band around the bar for my drop set so I can go straight into it. And I should be able to do six and a half or seven on this one.
So I got six and a half, which is an improvement from last week. Last week I struggled to get the sixth. So we got an extra half rep. And then for the drop set, pull down the, the band down to your feet, stand on it. And then do, go to failure again. I know I keep repeating myself, but always push for that last rep for 10 seconds. And last week I did six reps, and then when I dropped it, I got one more rep. And this week I got around six and a half, and I got uh, about one and a half on the drop set, so that's an improvement. And also I weighed in at 215 this morning, and last week was around 210, 211. So that's a big increase in strength if you consider the extra five pounds of weight. And I'll be back with the, the last workout. I'm back with the last workout. The last workout I do is my grippers, hand grippers. And uh, I use the Captains of Crush. I have the number one, the one and a half, and the two. On Tuesdays, I don't do the number two because I find I only have the strength to close it on Saturdays. Uh, because I work it up, work on my grip on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and that's the only uh, thing that I do more than once a week. And if I find that my strength stops increasing, I'll probably drop it down to two, and then down to just once a week if I find my muscles are not recovering in time. And uh, last week I think I did nine on the 1.5, which takes 167.5 pounds of pressure to close. And then I'll drop down to the to the one, which is a hundred, I think it's like 150, 147, something like that. I forget now. But uh, two months ago, I was able to close either one of these. But now I have to close the two. And uh, this is the routine that I do. So I'll start with the, the 1.5. Chalk up my, my hand first so it doesn't slide. And I'll chalk up the other hand. So the grip is very important in this exercise. And on the gripper there's a there's a rounder side and a flatter side. So the flatter side goes goes into the try to get that as uh, deep into that groove as possible. I have the bigger hands, so I'll have an easier time setting it. But if you have a smaller hand, you can use your other hand to close it a little bit. And then I go, and you try to hold this side as low as possible. Just have your pinky barely on it, you have more leverage. And then slide this into the, into the groove, as you can see I'm doing there. And then, this is my right hand, so I usually start with my left. So I'll switch sides. So the flat side, same as the right hand, into the groove and then see how many closes I can get. See, my grip's not strong after doing the full back day. So I couldn't close it, so I'll drop down to the one. And then with the one, I'll do 10 reps. It doesn't matter if I close them or not. One. Two. Uh, I think I was close. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, just squeeze as hard as you can. Ten. And then I'll do, I'll do negatives. I use the chair to help me close it. So you can see that. Use the chair to help me close it completely. And then I'll let it go slowly. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Nine. Eight. Nine. No, no. Yeah. Oh, no, last one. Ten. That's it. Once it's the fan there, my left hand. And now I'll switch over to my right. Stop my son from taking the other grouper. So that's the one. So now I'll switch over to my other hand. It's the 1.5, Captains of Crush. Flat side into the, the groove of my hand. And I think last week I did nine on my other hand. Yes. See if I can get 10. I'll double check what I did last week. No, nose in the background. Chocolate and sweet potato. One, and do something that. Two, and sweet potato. Three, four, five, guys. Five, two, six, seven. You're fine. Eight. Eight's all I got. Bye, guys. Bye. Don't touch the. <laughs> and I drop down to the one. Ooh, See, that's the one. Down. I'll do ten no matter if I close them yeah, or not. Ten, Dad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16, 10, and I'll do 10 negatives. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And that's all I do for the captains of grip. And you see him fucking sweating. It's not easy, easy to do this. Uh, you want to focus on low reps, high intensity on this and all exercises. And uh, I think I did one lesson last week. And uh, if I don't, if I don't uh, close the number two on Saturday, like I us I'm usually able to, but last week I wasn't. I'll probably decrease my gripper workout. I'll probably just do it once a week on Saturdays uh, just to see if, if um, I'm overdoing my forearms and not letting them recover. Or maybe I'll do them, maybe I'll do them on Thursdays and Saturdays instead of doing them today too. Uh, today I think I'm the weakest on my forearms because I, uh, I use a lot of my grip on the, on the deadlift and on the pull-ups before I got to the grippers. But um, I'll adjust accordingly and uh, see what works. And um, if you're uh, doing the same, you have the same strength every week or losing strength and you're bulking, uh, just decrease the amount of reps you're doing. Not reps, the amount of sets you're doing. But you're probably overworking your body. And even though you feel like your muscles are recovered, your central nervous system needs time to recover too. And I'll be back tomorrow with my shoulder workout. Have a great day.